Morning folks, Lester here, and I wanna walk over and show you how cold it is today here in Texas. Now, I don't wanna get a hard time. You don't, I don't go and start saying, you're not that cold, Lester. We're negative 12 here in Bismarck. I know it's a lot colder, but we're not used to that kind of stuff, and I'm gonna show you how I know. Look. Look at my longhorn. Look at my longhorn, y'all. He's covered himself in hay because he's freezing out here. He can't even sit and enjoy a nice nap with his lady friend and his daughter because he's so darn cold. Look at that. And that hay is gonna keep him a lot warmer up. Hey, Pearl. Hi, sweetie. I got your horn, baby. Let me hold it. I want to hold your horn. I want to hold your horn. I want to hold your horn. Oh, please. And tell you something. Do, 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 do. I want to hold your horn. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, this is cute. And this is why I always say that there's no animal that you, there's not. You cannot name an animal that has more personality and more charm than, baby, stop being mean to daddy. What you, what's the point here? What is the point? You want me to hold it, but you don't. You, she wants me to hold it, yet she doesn't want me to hold it. She wants me to hold her horn, yet she doesn't. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of loving right there from that long horn. And uh, there's a lot of loving from that one over there too, but I'm not near brave enough to walk over and snuggle him. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, y'all. Even though that does look snuggly. That does look real snuggly over there. Anyway, isn't he funny and comical and just the sweetest guy ever? Oh, you show me your pretty teeth. Oh, wow, those are really nice, baby. Those are some really nice teeth. What she's really saying is, I need food. I need, I need food in my mouth right now. I need food in my mouth. All right, guys, I got some chores to do. And you guys come join me. Do not make me do this alone. Don't make me do it alone, y'all. Come on. Doing this together. Before I do anything, I really am gonna go put on another layer of clothes because I did not realize, where's all the goats running to? All the goats, even Ringo, are taking off. They're running somewhere, and I don't know where. <laughs> you would think if I'm doing chores, they're gonna run towards me, yet they're running away. They're going the other direction. That's cute. So yes, I did bring the Humvee back to Longhorn Lester's. It was getting too dirty at the other property. Let me say something about this real fast. And uh, this is not trying to take away from the video, the animal video, but there have been, oh my gosh, I can already hear y'all now. Ignore the haters, Lester. Ignore the haters. Ignore the haters. Sometimes we can become so hateful to the haters that it makes you wonder who's more hateful, those who say ignore the haters or those that are hating. But I don't think it's hating necessarily. I just want to say this. Friends, this is not the first thing that I bought whenever I begin to make a little bit of money off of my YouTube channel. The first thing that I bought was a responsible thing. I paid off my bills. I paid off my bills. And so it's really neat that, that we have the blessing to know that we can make a video and if the video meets certain criteria, number one, it has to be entertaining to you all. Because if my videos are not entertaining, you're not going to watch. And guess what? If you don't watch my videos, I'm not going to get any ads placed on them. And if I don't get any ads, I'm not going to make a, not a penny. So do not think that you're going to make money off of video creation if your videos suck. I'm sorry. So you have to meet your criteria. I have to follow the guidelines. YouTube and Facebook have guidelines that you have to follow. And so, you you know, I have to make sure I always adhere to their guidelines, their family community guidelines. And then number three, this is the most important thing. I bust my butt. I'm not the kind of guy who makes one video a week. I'm not the kind of guy who makes one video every three days. I make four videos every day count them four videos every day along with stories along with reels along with shorts uh if you don't know what those means those are the little short things off of youtube and facebook less there's no i'll say one last thing and i'll get off the subject there's nobody in social media 
who works harder than I do. Nobody. And you know why? Because I know that this social media and our, our window of opportunity will not be here forever. It won't. It will not be here forever. And so, yes, Lester did go off and spend some money on what a lot of you guys are calling a foolish investment in the Humvee. All the work it took to fix it up, the paint job, the tires, the motor. Yes, but guess what? That was my entire year of saving all of my YouTube money. And you know what? I did it after I paid off my bills, after I paid off the house. So my mom and dad went and paid off their minivan. And then my dad went and bought himself a side-by-side. -side. Brienne paid off all of her medical bills from having her babies. And then she went off and bought herself a golf cart. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Jake. I'm just going to ignore Jake. Uh, because Jake, who knows what Jake does with his money? <laughs> it's none of my business. But seriously, I'm, it's, I'm not here to talk about anyone's money besides my own. But guys, I will say this. Social media is a blessing. The same way as being a doctor is a blessing. Being an attorney is a blessing. But every single profession that you think of that is makes some really good money, that money depends on how good they are at their job. So I believe you can sit there and as you look at all of the different creators that you follow, the ones that you watch on social media, the different channels that you, you know, that you watch, you can tell who takes their job serious. And you can also see very easily which ones just kind of go out there and make a quick video just to use uh, someone as a gimmick, usually a kid as a gimmick, just to have people to watch because they want to see the kid. And then next thing you know, they're making money. And then how do they spend their money? Who cares? It's none of your business. It's, it's not. It's not. If you choose to watch their videos, then you can't complain that they make money. Okay? And so, uh, I hate talking about money. People don't like to talk about money. But I spent my entire life with no money, living paycheck to paycheck. And for the first time at the age of 50, I make a little bit of money. But I'm still paying my bills. I still have bills like the rest of you. All of our animals are getting fed. And yeah, I bought a Humvee. I'll get off of that now. <laughs> How you like that? Hey, I'm a lot warmer and that's what matters. I'm a lot warmer, okay? So I'm going to have to do my chores. I've uh, done several things this morning already, but now it's time to get some chores done. I have to go do that. One of the hardest jobs I have to do today is take all the puppies and move them into the shop. No, oh, I don't want to do it. They've been very nice and comfy there in the spot we've had them for a while. But they're getting older, y'all. They are four weeks old today. And that means they have to go into the shop. Looky here. Here's all my supplies. I'm taking, I am removed the backs of the Argo. So I could fit more buckets and stuff inside there. Also, I noticed that when we had the people come out for Jamie's event, they wanted to sit down, not have to stand in the in the back. So I did all of that. And uh, I'm going to try it this way for a while. I do have to grab a little bit of green hay and throw in there with me so I can do all of my chores, make an entire lap and do all of my chores in one drive about. I really hate to get texts up. Look, the entire family's laying down now. I love them. I really do. Let's do something we've not done in a long time. Let's go feed up together. Please come with me. Please come with me. Yeah, sweetie. Trying to video with one hand while I drive the other. I hate to get these guys up, but it is time to eat. So what I'm gonna do here is walk. I'm gonna walk it through. What that means is, oh, sorry. Sorry, you guys, I know you're arresting I'm just walking it through. All right. 
it has the kind of transmission that will stop whenever you release the gas, the throttle. So you don't gotta worry a whole lot about it running off down the hill. Hey, move out of here. I'm gonna take this entire Argo down the hill a bit and we're gonna feed somewhere else. I don't like when they're all closer together because someone can get hurt. Including me, even I could get hurt. Now what'll happen is the birds who can run will run. This is a nice spot. I am feeding in the grass again today. Oh, I can already hear it. Lester, you get on to other channels for feeding in the grass. No, I don't. I never get on to anyone for feeding in the grass. I don't like to feed in the dirt. That's the big difference. So I will say that the other buckets over here, this is for my goats. That's for Carl and Debbie. Now the goats already have an entire roll of hay set out in their pasture. And I don't, I only give them the alfalfa every other day. Don't forget our cows and horses also have rolls of hay set out in their pasture that they have access to all the time. So uh, they're all getting plenty to eat, my friends. They're, they're getting plenty to eat. Ooh, that means stay away, Tat. That right there means move. Santana, <laughs> she ain't letting no one invade her space. Now, careful because that's your dad's feed. That belongs to your dad and your mother. And it's not really fair, Tat, if you come by and eat mom and dad's food because they gotta have something. Then that's the goat mix right there. I'm gonna have to shoo you away, little boy. I call him little boy. Guys, look how tall he stands. Come here. Let's show everyone how tall you stand. Look at this big bird. Get over here. Look. Got you by the tail. Got him. A man came to a fork in the road. And he chose to travel the road less traveled. Wait, how did it go? A man came to a fork in the road. And he chose to take the path less traveled. Y'all, today we're taking the path Let's travel. All right, so you know that we are at 16 foot of water here. Let me stand up and give you kind of a bird's eye view. I'm a little top heavy, okay? I'm a, let's a little bit top heavy, but it's not a problem. Here we go. Not a problem, friends, not a problem. Listen, of every job that I do around the farm, this is by far the hardest. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Ain't it crazy the way people say that they really admire you. They, 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 they really do admire the fact that you'll tell it the way it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yet, unfortunately, and this is true, this is true, 
if you start talking anything about how blessed you've been and you found some success which has equaled making more money all of a sudden all of a sudden really people start taking that as something bad and so when they say you don't talk about religion you don't talk about sex you don't talk about money you just don't those are the things you don't talk about isn't it sad that you can't talk about things because of how offended people get Anyway, hey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. To me, it's a blessing. I would think that anyone that loves you and cares about you would, would be happy for you. But I can say this right now, not everybody is. There's not everybody is happy that you found some success. And with that success has come more money than you've made at any other point in your life. And that's a shame. But hey, it is what it is. Folks, thank you for watching. Uh, I've enjoyed hanging out with you and as you know, it's time to uh, Even though I can't do it. I'm driving. I can't do it. I'm driving But you can now get up off the chairs couches Recliners and you love seats or if you can at least wiggle your toes like that one lady just wiggle your toes And I'll be happy. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. And thank you for loving us Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.